and welcome to Makeup by Mon. I'm going to be doing my July favorites. So let's get started. The first favorite of the month is by Tarte. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue. I had to look that one up. So this is in the color Nude and it's got the most beautiful packaging. It has little tiny seashells and then the color of it itself, it's not like nude per se when you look at it in the tube but when it actually kind of has no color very little color um but i would describe it as like a gloss finish to a lip balm so it feels exactly like a lip balm when you put it on but it has a glossy finish but it's not sticky or anything like that it's really really nice um, I use it as a lip balm, but I also use it some days just as like my lipstick and it feels so Comfortable so comfortable. It's probably like the best lip balm that I've ever used I like that you can just also wear it as like if that's just what you want to wear for the day Sometimes I'll put it over a lip liner. I like to put it on bef before I like go to bed at night Sometimes I'll throw it in my purse and just reapply it throughout the day It's just super comfortable and I like that it comes in a lipstick tube because um, it's not like One of the squeezy type of lip balms that you squeeze out of the tube or the ones that you dig your finger and put it in the pot I really really like this. It gives a beautiful finish to the lips and it's super super comfortable so i definitely suggest this it comes in four different um like colors you can get it in rose nude berry opal so uh, the one i have is nude but i've seen the other finishes the berry definitely is the one that has the most pigment um but i prefer the nude that's the only one that i have uh, another favorite is also by tarte so this is the tarte tarte guard spf 30 face SPF and um, this month I've been really 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 trying to get good at using SPF on my face every single day should I use it on my skin every day too yes definitely I'm gonna try to get better at that but my face I think is where I want to start um, sometimes I'll wear a foundation that has an SPF in it but I feel like the days that I don't even the days that I do I'd much rather just put this on to know that I have SPF on it has like really no strong scent to it. It feels so light on the skin. It's not super oily. It sits really, really well under makeup. And I love it. This is, um, I have a few of the sizes that are like this. I got one in my Play by Sephora box and one in, um, I think I got one as like a deluxe sample one time. And so I have been using it up. One I keep now in my travel um, like toiletry bag and then this one I use every day. But I'm like halfway done with this. And it's a small one. I will definitely purchase it though once I run out because I love it so much. I just, it feels so good on the skin. It's really moisturizing. It's not sticky. It doesn't have a scent. And like I said, it sits really, like makeup sits really well on top of it. So there's nothing more I want from a sunscreen. Now this I was hesitant to try. This is by Sunday Riley and this is Good Jeans. So basically it says it's an all-in-all -all lactic acid treatment. So the reason why I started using this, I had gotten this in my Play by Sephora, one of my Play by Sephora boxes, and I was really hesitant to try it. The reason why I was hesitant to try it is because in the full size it is $100. I did not want to like a product that I would have to spend that much money on so I was really hesitant to ever even try it because I'm fearful that I would love it and then want to buy a product that's $100. Um, nonetheless, I tried it because a YouTuber I follow, Young, Wild, and Polished, Nicole, she uh, started using this and I was like, oh, I have one of those. So I tried it. Believe the hype. It is totally amazing my skin is like just it feels so good every time i put this on it just like i really i haven't broken out since i've been using this i feel like it just gives my skin a really really nice um i don't even know how to describe it like the way that she has described it is that it took away like any texture on her skin and i would totally agree with that like at times i would get dry patches somewhere on my chin sometimes around my nose this has really eliminated that. The way that I use it is I'll wash my face, you know, take all my makeup off, do my face wash. Then I will put on my Josie Marin Argan Oil, then my Clinique Moisturizer, and then I'll put this on last. And it just like sinks into my skin. 
It's really, really good. It claims to brighten, exfoliate, plump lines, even hyperpigmentation, and increases circulation for instant radiance. It makes my skin look flawless. Um, I'm not even like probably, I'm maybe halfway done, probably a little bit more than that. I think I have another sample size of this though. So I'll definitely try to not get it. And if I do really want it, I will wait until Sephora has their like VIB sale or Christmas and put it on my Christmas list, something, because it really is as great as everybody says it is. It stinks. That is the only bad thing about it. It smells funky. It's like, I don't know it just it smells really really funky and whenever you put it on your skin it stings a tiny bit but it doesn't sting all the time it just stings occasionally when I put it on and I couldn't even describe what makes it sting because it's not like I'll have a cut or anything on my face nonetheless those are really the only two things that are kind of meh about it but what it does far outweighs those two things I have been using this also this month and I feel like it's really helped my skin. So this is by Caudalie, I hope that's how you say it, and it is the grape water. So it soothes and moisturizes. I like to put this on um, just as, after I'll put on my, you know, do all my skincare, put on my good jeans, I also like to put this on too. And I'll put it on right now. It just like, it's basically like, probably like the Evian water that people spray a lot. It just like, soaks into your skin and it feels so good so good i would not i don't use this as like a setting spray or anything like that but it really makes you feel refreshed and like it feels like a really nice mist it's cooling and it's nice on your skin i can't think of any other adjectives besides that i think this is 13 dollars. i got it in a caudalie set for my birthday um, with a moisturizer, but this is great. Like, it's it's by no means a necessity, but if you like things like this that just um, refresh, make you feel good, especially in the summertime when it's hot, um, and I like to put this on just as like a little refresher throughout my makeup, maybe throughout the day, and I put it on at night. Sometimes I'll put it in the morning too after I put on my sunscreen, and if I'm not wearing any makeup for the day, it just feels great on your skin, and I can tell that this, in connection with this has really helped my skin just flourish this month if you will another favorite this has been my favorite ever since i got it but i just never mentioned it because it has just become such a daily part of my makeup routine so this is by urban decay and it is the beached bronzer in bronzed and it's just so nice on the skin it it's a beautiful tan color like it's not orangey you can see i'm probably close to hitting pan because i can totally see the pan in there um probably not close to hitting pan but i'll get there eventually because i can see everything in it it is so smooth it is so like nicely pigmented it looks like a beautiful tan color it doesn't make you look chalky or orangey it sits so nice on the skin it blends well it doesn't have a smell to it and i really 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 like this so if you're in the market for a new bronzer give this one a go and the packaging is probably one of the best things about it but i love this bronzer i think it's fantastic another favorite for this month is definitely a dupe in my opinion for the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So I used it on my brows today. It's actually the only thing I've been using the past like maybe month and a half. And this is by L'Oreal and it's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. So it has a spoolie on one end. The spoolie, I'll give it to you. It's not as good as the Anastasia one, but it ain't that bad. And the pencil side is just like the Brow Wiz. It's very thin. Um, Whenever I swatch it, it does not look good at all, but I promise it, it's good. I think I just got a bad swatch. Um, but I have it in the color Dark Brunette, and it's just like really, really easy to use, um, really easy to blend. The spoolie, like I said, it's pretty nice. Like it gives you a nice um, comb through, if you will, and I think it's like eight bucks, and it's the only thing I've been using would I say it's better than the Anastasia Brow Wiz? I don't think it's better. I think it's very, very similar. 
the um, pencil itself is not as smooth as the brow is but it does the same exact thing so if you want something that's similar that will do the same job definitely try the l'oreal brow stylist brow stylist definer that's what it's called I also have two lip products for this month. So these are by Huda Beauty and they are the lip contours. I have the color Bombshell and the color Trendsetter. I use these just interchangeably, interchangeably, hopefully that's a word. Um, so I looked it up because I wanted to make sure that I would describe it the right way. So Trendsetter, oh, I'm gonna do Bombshell first. So Bombshell is a subtle pinkish nude. That's how it's described on the Sephora website. And Trendsetter is described as a stylish brown nude. I have on Trendsetter, I think that's what I have on today. And I have on the Lorac Pro nude, like the lip pencil, not the lip pencil. It's like a lipstick, but in the pencil form, it's their matte lip crayon. So these are the two colors. They're just like, right up my alley. They're pretty much what I use on the daily. The bottom one is Trendsetter. It's a little more nudie and the top one is Bombshell. You can see it's a little more pink, but they feel so good on the lips. They're so easy to use. I fill them, I fill my lips in with them. They go with almost every color. I also have Vixen and Icon. Icon's a little, definitely a little more like pinky, pinky pink. And Vixen is like a deep burgundy. It's beautiful but they're so easy to use, they're so comfortable. And on the 29th, she is releasing her liquid lipsticks and I have already set a calendar invite in my phone, put it in my planner and we're ready to go because I cannot wait. Uh, some of the colors for the liquid lips are gonna be very similar to the lip contours. So I'm super, super excited to try those and they launch later this week. And then the last thing that I've been loving this month, it's by Living Proof and it is their nourishing oil. I got this because uh, one of the YouTubers I watched, What Would Lizzie Do? She was raving about this in one of her Friday whoops and womps. And I was like, sure, I'll give it a go. I really like the Redken one that I use, the diamond oil, but I thought I would give this one a try. And um, I use two to three pumps of it. It does not make my hair frizzy at all all like it just gives it such body and like shine and it makes it really really easy to to style and it makes it look really healthy i don't really know how else to describe it i like the way that it feels in my hair it doesn't feel greasy and some hair oils can do that it has a really really nice smell to it it smells like most of the living proof products most of their um styling products have like a really nice light florally type of smell. That definitely smells like that. I bought the small one, this was $20. $20. And um, I really like it though. Will I buy the big one? Probably, but I still have a lot left. I'm, I've used about that much. I probably have about three fourths left, probably a little more than that. Um, because I only use it every other day whenever I wash my hair. So I'll take a shower, wash my hair, um, and then whenever it's damp, I use a few pumps and I just like basically put it in my palms, rub it together, and then just go through my hair like this and get the roots and get everywhere and just make sure it's all over my hair. And then I just let it air dry and it gives, it makes my natural hair texture really shine through, if you will, um, which I really, really like. But that's it for my monthly favorites. What did you love this month? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see, uh, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.